Cholera is an acute diarrhea infection caused by ingestion of food or water contaminated with bacterium. The two most distinguishing features of the disease are its tendency to appear in explosive outbreaks and its predisposition to causing pandemics that may progressively affect many countries and spread into continents. Such is the situation in Nigeria at the moment as the disease, which is considered a major public health problem, has been spreading to different parts of the country. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, recently alerted the public to the increasing trend of cholera cases across the country as the rainy season intensifies. The agency noted that Nigeria has been identified as one of the 14 countries in Africa where the resurgence is being experienced. Cholera situation in the country now should be played at high risk. There are four levels of risk. You have low, medium, high, and very high. It is suggested that... Um, we should activate the Incident uh, Operation Center, National Operation Center for Cholera, so that we can effectively address this situation. The medical practitioner, Dr. Razak Akindele, said cholera has continued to be a threat to public health and the key indicator of a lack of social development as a result of food and water contamination. He identified the symptoms to include diarrhea, nausea and vomiting, dehydration, fatigue, extreme thirst, little or no urination, low blood pressure, among others. He advised anyone witnessing any of the symptoms to urgently seek medical attention. Cholera is waterborne disease. Most of it, we, we get it from water, from food that are not prepared very well. If you have any symptom, you're stooling, you have fever, you have headache, you have body pains, please go to the hospital so that you can get early treatment before it becomes uh, anything serious. So that's the advice I want to give to our people. Experts called on Nigerians, most especially ocean people, to imbibe a hygienic lifestyle and regular hand washing with soaps and running water, among others. Data from the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, indicates that more than 1,000 141 suspected cases, 65 confirmed cases, and 30 deaths from cholera had been reported from 96 local government areas in 30 states of the Federation. However, the Ocean State Government had announced that all machineries have been put in place to proactively curtail the spread of the disease from neighboring states that share border with Osho. Special Advisor to the Governor of Public Health, Dr. Akindele Adekunle, attributed the free status of the state from cholera outbreak currently ravaging different parts of the country to the proactive measures taken by Governor Demola Adeliki in the areas of health, provision of portable water, dredging of drainages and waterways, refurbishment of primary health care centers, among others. We have been so much uh, involved in the prevention of the cholera. Um, so far, about 32 states have been affected by, by it, and the moment we got wind of that, we set up our machinery, the Public Health Response Rapid Team, and the Cholera Technical Working Group. Um, we were able, able to um, establish about uh, 10 um, committee informants and local government, that's about 3,320 across the state. And of course, we sent in consumables, intravenous fluids, antibiotics, and the other consumables. We've embarked on extensive community advocacy, radio and television jingles. And of course, we've gone to religious, uh, religious uh, homes and house to inform them about uh, cholera, educate them about cholera, especially the uh, precautionary measures that we have to take um, to prevent it from coming to Oshun. Dr. Akindele appealed to Oshun people to support the government in the fight against the outbreak of cholera and elder infectious diseases by imbibing hygienic lifestyle, regular hand washing with soaps and running water, avoid open defecation among others. We have to help ourselves, we have to help the government. Hygiene is most important. Personal hygiene. If you want to drink, make sure you drink portable drinking water. If you are not sure of the source of the water, boil it for at least one minute. Let it cool down before taking it. If you go to a pool, if you go to the toilet, wash your hands. 
uh, avoid open uh, defecation. If you are buying foods, vegetable, meats from the market, ensure that it's well cooked. And most importantly, if you pull more than three times, watery pool, three episodes in a day, go to the nearest health facilities. We have a lot of them across the state. As soon as we do that, we attend to you. Cholera is a deadly disease. It can kill within a second. It's an acute diarrhea illness. That's how you describe it. Expert noted that everyone has a role to play in the containment of the spread of the deadly disease. We must thank the government of the day, the government of uh, Senator uh, Loredan Jackson Ademola Adeleke, for the proactive measures uh, he has taken. You will see that he has uh, invested a lot in the dredging of, uh, of uh, waterways in Oshun, and a lot of uh, there are no stagnation of uh, what that's probably what is helping us. And the recent uh, announcement that all households must have a place for defecation, latrine or toilet, is also a step in the right direction. We also want to uh, 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 employ our people that please, hand washing can prevent a lot of things. If you, if you use the toilet, wash your hand very well. Aluchi Amuda for Deadline.